What is up, J-Series folks? Uh, this evening, we're going to show you how to best route the Universal J-Series style um, harness onto a J-Series engine. So if you would, uh, come over here with me to the engine where I've got that joker set up. Now you'll see right here, I've got everything routed. I've got the floor is kind of nasty over here. Y'all forgive me for that. Um, but we got the end of the harness here that hooks up to the ECU. We've only got three plugs on that because there's no sense in hooking up a speed sensor to this thing because it could be hooked up to anything from a CD009 to a 700R4 to a uh, who knows what. So anyway, these wires right here, you can look, they're all labeled. Um, one of them goes to your charge lamp so that you can know whether or not your charging system is operating properly. Then you've got, you know, a couple of others. You got some for, one for tack, ignition coil power, one to trigger fuel pump relay. That one's kind of optional because I don't know how all of you guys have your fuel pumps set up. There's a fan relay. Again, that and again is optional, but it's in here anyhow. ECU and injector power, alternator power, battery plus, all of these that say power on here, they need to be ran to a fuse, at least to a fuse, um, and then, you know, to your ignition switch or whatever, preferably set it up to where they're activated on a relay and have that relay uh, circuit fused, but anyway, that's the best way to do that. And then there's one for your oil. Now, this one right here, there's also a purple one here. I don't know if it was there. Spare. Um, so you can hook it up to pretty much anything. And then, But this one for your battery plus, that one's got to be hooked directly to the battery because it's for your ECU memory. Um, the oil right here, though, it comes up and over and hooks up to your low oil, uh, low oil pressure warning switch right over here you can swap that out for like an oil pressure sending unit and swap out you know you can get you i say swap out you can get you one of those little bullet connectors um from the auto parts store one of the male ones that'll stick up in there and then make you a little jumper to attach to your um oil pressure sending unit but um you know that's so you got that option there and then the spare wire it's up here i put it kind of close to your um coolant distribution passage in case you know um i say you like it's for you for one of you guys specifically this one technically is for one of you guys specifically but um anyway but when i say you i just mean you guys or girls too or whatever um so that'll hook up to you, know, you can drill and tap a hole right over in here or remove one of these and drill and tap it or even put a little adapter in line over there and run that over to a temperature sending unit if you want to or run it to whatever else um, that's a 20 gauge wire so don't be trying to pull a whole lot of current off of it <clears throat> of course okay now on to other things you'll notice how this thing is is routed up here um, and then that harness can kind of sweep around and go different directions. Um, this is your main ground wire. It'll hook up. You can hook it up to, you know, one of these bolts here. Just make sure that the head of your bolt doesn't foul against that insulation there. And make sure that that lays nice and flat against, you know, the bolt hole. And it's not like cockeyed a little bit. Make sure that that um, heat shrink right there is not in the way. So that you get a good secure connection. You may have to take a razor knife and trim some of it away. Just the nature of the way that these things are. Um, let's see. So this branch of it swoops right around here. And then it branches off. Comes to your injectors on this side. Comes over to your coils on this side. Has a coil ground. Follow the same directions for that. Hook it up to you know one of these bolt holes here or even that one way down in there and um then it sweeps around here you've already kind of seen some of this this is where it comes over to your crank sensor and your uh vtex solenoid and then to your oil pressure low low oil pressure warning switch your vtec pressure switch that's how that gets routed around there and then let's see come over to this side 
and that's your engine coolant temperature sensor plugs in right there right nicely and then on this one I robbed the I swapped thermostat housings with mine that was on my car so that I could have a fan switch on mine but the fan switch would go right there this is labeled fan that would trigger that goes to that wire over there at the other end that's labeled fan relay so that just triggers your fan relay is all that does um and let's see we got <clears throat> right up through here this branch runs around and then we've got where it branches out and goes to each of these injectors and then same thing with these coils over here and they have their own ground ground that to the cylinder head back here preferably that bolt i don't know if there's there might be some other places you might could find i think maybe that stud right down in there but preferably just that bolt hole right there that's not used and then the other branch comes around here hooks up to your cam sensor hooks up down in there to the knock sensor and then this comes around here and goes down to the alternator and that's pretty much it for that now we'll set the intake manifold on there and show you about the other stuff all right intake manifolds on it these other wires they uh, come around let's see what's a good way um, they come up under here the map sensor comes and hooks up right up there there's enough room to get it out of the way of your intake tube and then your idle air control will hook up right there and then of course TPS is broke but that would hook up right there to your TPS. And there's a little bit of slack on this in case maybe, what if you're running a supercharger, something like that, you know, it needs to raise up higher. So it's got that there. It won't quite reach to the other end to flip the manifold, but um, talk to me and I can work with you on something. Make you up some adapters or something like that. Done that a couple times. So that's pretty much it. That's a pretty good crash course on this stuff. So, um, anyway, any questions you guys, you know, you let me know and we'll go from there. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and, uh, follow me on Instagram at pjscustoms.wiring. Follow my Facebook page, um, PJ's Customs LLC. Check out my website, pjscustoms.com. All right. Appreciate you guys. Hope some of this helped. Thanks for watching. Take care.